Most of the measure tools in SOLIDWORKS are found in the Evaluate toolbar. So if we come up here to my assembly toolbar, we have Evaluate. A lot of the measure tools are found up here in my Evaluate toolbar. Also, if you go in the Tools pull-down menu, and you have to scroll clear down at the bottom if your screen resolution is, is kind of like mine, there's an Evaluate uh, menu in the Tools menu as well. And a lot of our measuring tools are found here. Uh, the most basic one, obviously, is Measure. So if I go ahead and just select measure and I select on, you know, whatever items I'd like to measure between, it'll give me the distance area of those. It will also show that in the screen over here. I can highlight and copy these real easy now. Um, that's been added recently inside of SOLIDWORKS. So some good information there. Um, now some other options we have here. If I select again between say a, a line and a vertex, so if we scroll down in here and I grab a, a vertex, or I guess I got an arc there, but I'm not going to use my selection filters, but we can see it gives me the measurements in X, Y, and Z. If I select two circles, okay, so if I grab, say, this arc, and I want to measure between these two uh, standoffs here, so we'll go ahead and grab uh, this inside arc. Okay, we can get center to center distances, minimum distances, maximum distance between the arc, or I can set up a custom distance for each of them, okay, whether it be center, min, or max. So a lot of neat things in this measure tool, okay? But outside of the measure tool, um, not a lot of people realize, but if I just hold down the control key and select, say, multiple faces, and then clear down here at the bottom of my screen, so let me zoom in on that down here, it will show me at the bottom of my screen, what the distance is between those two items. Yeah. So I get some feedback in the status bar down here. Um, I don't even necessarily have to go into the measure tool. I can get feedback in the status bar of what the length of the item is. Okay, a few other measurement options we have. Uh, one neat one that, uh, again, the common tech support question that I got all the time is we also have section properties. So if I grab just a face or, or a cross-sectional area, I can get sectional properties for just that particular face. Okay? So um, that's a handy one to know that it's there as well. So, and then of course, finally, mass properties are the simple one. Under the same evaluate toolbar, we get mass properties, mass volume, surface area, center of mass, all that fun information. Okay? So there's a lot of measuring we can do inside of SOLIDWORKS uh, and a number of different ways to do it, but the most basic, again, the measure icon in the Evaluate Toolbar.